The family fudge, the family fudge. They are mostly sweet but full of nuts. Merry Christmas! It's almost your first Christmas, Griffin. Do you know what the best part of Christmas is? Giving to others. Let's make boxes for Operation Christmas Child, Griffin. Operation Christmas Child is a charity hosted by the Samaritan's Purse. You can actually go online to samaritanspurse.org to find out exactly how to pack your shoebox gift. But I actually picked up this pamphlet, Hobby Lobby, and it gives you all the steps and information that you need to participate in this charity. How to pack your shoebox. Number one, you have to get a shoebox. You can use an empty cardboard or plastic shoebox. We picked up our plastic shoebox at Hobby Lobby. They were $1.99 each. Step 2. Include a wow toy. Select a quality wow toy, such as a doll, a soccer ball with a pump, or a stuffed animal. Now, if you're shopping at Hobby Lobby, if you look throughout the store, they've marked with signs um, suggested items for your shoebox gift. So it makes it really easy to find the right kind of items for your shoebox. So if you're at Hobby Lobby, just look for these signs. After you get your wow toy, step three is to fill it with gifts. You wanna add other fun toys. You could add hygiene items like toothbrushes. You could add school supplies. And you also wanna add a personal note. And you can even include a photo of yourself or your family. You could also include your name and address. And the child that receives the box may be able to write to you. Most importantly, you can pray for the child who will receive your gift. Now when you turn in your box, it's important to include a $7 donation. A donation of $7 per box is critical to transport your gift and deliver it into the hands of a child in need. You can also give online and follow your box and discover the destination of where it goes. I hope the little boy who gets these really likes them. Next, you want to drop your box off. Take your shoebox gift to a local drop-off location during National Collection Week, which is November 14th through the 21st, 2016. You can visit SamaritansPurse.org to find one of the nearest drop-off locations to you. It's important to remember what not to include in these gift boxes. They're asking for you not to include any war-related items such as toy guns, knives or military figures, seeds, chocolate or food, liquids or lotions, medications or vitamins, no breakable items such as snow globes or glass containers or any aerosol cans. Now, if you don't have time or the ability to make a shoebox and actually go to the store, you can go online to SamaritansPurse.org and they make it so easy for you to fill a box online. You can choose all the items that you'd like to put in a box. They will do it for you and they will ship it for you. You can pay for it right there on their website. As we go into this holiday season, it's so important for me to help my children understand that it's not just about what they get this holiday season, but what they can give. And I love the opportunity that this gives um, for them to learn about giving to others. Let me know in the comments down below if you plan on participating in this Operation Christmas Child. I hope you make a box for Operation Christmas Child too. Merry Christmas! Thanks for watching!